Hello, I'm Philip Day and I'm just about to uh, do a demonstration of using desktop mirroring with Whirligig, a uh, brand new feature. Uh, I thought I'd do a demonstration of it just to make it a bit more obvious of how to use it. So first off, let's uh, start up Whirligig. Now this is a, a fresh uh, install, uh, so you can see there um, you've got the main screen, the original screen for when you actually load it up. and uh, so we've got your standard images and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to load up just a standard video just to demonstrate uh, demonstrate Whirligig generally. Um, so we go to media, just a quick video. Let's load up one. So standard video here. So that works as per normal. Uh, now, uh, if I wanted to mirror the desktop, what I can do is create a file which works like a video file, except for instead of showing you a video, it shows the desktop. Um, the advantages of this is that you get to have all the settings saved in the same way, so you can return with the same video, and uh, you also uh, can store them and send them to other people if you want to. So, to do this, now first off, I'm going to disable uh, the mouse support here. So, let the uh, mouse go and it will click off there we are and that's removed mouse support from the player so I've got the standard at the moment I've got the standard gaze um, working as before and if I switch on my five controllers I've got the standard uh, situation there so I'm going to click off there and while I'm doing that I'm going to go to my desktop and show you what Go to my desktop and show you here an example. So I have desktop DKP. Now all this is that I've created here. This is a text file. So I'm actually going to delete that just as a just to do it from the start. So I'm going to go new text file and I'm going to call this one Netflix. So it's going to be the one I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, DKP like so. It will, it will say this because it thinks it's a different file type uh, and there you go. So that now will be seen by Whirligig. So if I go back to Whirligig, um, like so, now if I was to just use it per normal I can go to my Explorer and you see now I've got a file in there called netflix.dkp. So I'm going to click on that and now in Whirligig we have a mirrored desktop so this is showing everything that's on the mirrored desktop so as you can see it's all like a infinite background like so now all I need to do now is before I put the headset on get whatever I want to watch up and running so I'm going to run Netflix so I'm going to open up a window here to run Netflix uh, find something I enjoy, Rick and Morty. Hit play, and all of this will be visible. All of this will be visible on the headset. So if I go back to the headset, you can still see there. But of course, once I put the headset on and uh, click off that, then and actually I have a dual uh, a dual monitor. So I'm going to move this over here just to demonstrate. Actually, no, that doesn't work. No, I'm not going to move that over there because that doesn't demonstrate anything. But um, basically, now I can just make this full screen and then just play it. And within the within the Whirligig player, you'll be able to see it full screen as if it's an actual uh, as if it's an actual app. In fact, probably the easiest way to do. So uh, so you'll be able to remove the menu like normal, like a normal video, and You'll be able to use these controls however you want. So there is the uh, back to that menu. Uh, if I actually go, just get the, these up, make it look, a, make it make it a little bit more sense. So you can see there that it's hovering in space there, and can change the scale like so. Once I'm playing it, I can just watch it and uh, however I want to, and that's pretty much the way the desktop mirroring works. Uh, because this is uh, because this is uh, acting as a video file, I can make several one at several of these and have them with different settings, however I like. So this one I've set up as Netflix, but I could say, okay, well, uh, I want it as Netflix, but I'd like it in 
in a cinema. So I can then watch that in a cinema, and then next time I load up the Netflix uh, DKP file, it will be already set up and set up in a, in a cinema. So that's basically it. I uh, hope you enjoy the new feature. I, expect, uh, I would like to add more features in the future, such as uh, being able to switch between your monitors uh, and also crop the frame if you need to. Uh, but at the moment, this is the first implementation, and I hope you enjoy it. So if you do, uh, let me know. And if you have any problems, also let me know. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for using Gig, and uh, I look forward to seeing, uh, seeing all of your comments in the future. Thank you.